The information contained in this video is distributed on a need-to-know basis. If you searched out and found this video, chances are you need to know. Cut. Does this hat make me look stupid or what? Hi, I'm Rick. Uh, behind the camera over there is the lovely Linnell. And uh, we have been living in an RV for two years now. And one of the things that really bothered me about living in an RV was having a six gallon hot water tank and uh, a limited supply of hot water. So I went ahead and installed a tankless hot water heater. Now, one of the very first things that happened when I did that was um, we couldn't get the temperature hot enough in the hot water tank. We could get it up to about 105 degrees marginally sometimes. And uh, at that, even at that, you had to have the water flow down so low that uh, many times it w the hot water heater would kick off altogether because of too low water flow. And... Uh, then you would get cold water. So you'd be in the shower, taking a shower, and you'd get it marginally warm enough, and you're like, okay, I can live with this, and then boom, all of a sudden you got cold water. So if you've been having those problems, stick around because I know how to fix it, and it's not that hard, okay? So the deal is is that um, there are many pressure regulators out there for your gas on your, uh, on your RV, and... Uh, not many of them are high flow. Uh, the, the way that we figured out that we were not getting enough gas flow was uh, that we turned on the furnace while the hot water was running and the furnace wouldn't ignite. It wasn't getting enough gas. So I tried the stove and with the burner up on high, as soon as I turned on the hot water, the flame would go down about 50%. Turn off the hot water, the flame would come back up to normal. So I went on Amazon and I ordered a two-stage adjustable high-flow propane uh, regulator for our RV and installed it with two new rubber hoses for the inlet and one, more, and one rubber hose for the outlet. Problem solved. But where we live, our water pressure fluctuates up and down by about 10 PSI. So anytime you have a change in your water flow, your water temperature is also going to change from your hot water heater. So I did a little more research and found a high flow adjustable uh, water pressure regulator with a gauge on it and um, installed that uh, in line in our water system. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. Um, and that solved that fluctuation problem. Now we've got perfect hot water all the time with our tankless hot water heater. So let's walk outside real quick and I'm going to show you what I installed. Yeah, so. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. As you can see, this is the pressure regulator. Okay. And um, it, these are the two new hoses coming in. They are one foot by a uh, quarter inch inside diameter. This is the hose coming out. It is four feet by um, three eighths diameter. And uh, Depending on your application, you may need to get one of these regulators that mounts horizontal. This one happens to mount vertically, up and down. Uh, as you can see, it's got the uh, vent on the bottom. The ones that mount horizontally, this way, also have the vent on the bottom of them, right? So the vent would be actually like in the side of the regulator mm -hmm. if you're looking at this regulator. Why did you choose that one? Uh, because you have to have the vent facing down and ours mounts vertically. Okay. Right? Okay. So now that's the, that's the gas regulator. So now the water. Sorry about my fingers. Here's the water pressure regulator. And as you can see, it just mounts really simple. Uh, just right off of the tap and then into the hose that goes into the trailer and here's your gauge now The way that I adjusted this was I went inside I turned on a spigot to full on on the in the kitchen sink and Watch figured out where my water pressure was at at that point. It was about uh, At 35 so I took it down by 5 psi down to 30 and that seems to have solved our fluctuation problem 
Now, we're going to go inside, and I'm going to show you what I bought that worked for me, uh, so you have an idea how to get it, part numbers, and all that kind of stuff. Here it is. Let's just, hopefully we got enough light on that. That's the hot water heater that I bought. Gerard 2G Wham. Yep. On demand. Yeah, and there is, uh, you'll find that almost all these hot water heaters, the tankless ones for RVs, they're all, they all have the same problems and they're all very similar. This is the uh, gas regulator that I bought. For the propane. Right. Off of Amazon. Yeah, everything I bought was off of Amazon. Which, by the way, they recommend that they change those every 10 years anyway. Yeah, 10 to 15 years, I think. Yeah, they recommend. So... If you haven't changed yours, it'd probably be a good investment anyway. And here's the uh, water pressure regulator that I bought. Oh, there. There it is. Yeah. Right. So, M11. Right. And so, the <clears throat> tankless hot water system is the bomb. It'll work great for you. However, if you're boondocking, I don't recommend it. I would say stay with your tank type hot water heater because... Uh, the precious commodity when you're boondocking is how much water you can hold in your fresh water tank. And I will show you over here that you're going to go through a lot of a lot of water to get to your hot water. Now, I'm going to turn on this spigot. And oh. down there on the... That's yep, where he mounted the... Uh, down there, you'll see the... Temperature uh, gauge for the hot see water. See how long it takes that thing to come up to temperature. Oh, it doesn't want to focus on it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes, yeah. And One, see, we're at 97, two, 101. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's about the time you can jump in the shower. Yeah. But see, there's you gotta wait for it to get to the shower. And that's where I have it set. It goes up to 124, but I have it set at 120. So that's how long it took that thing to get up to temperature. That's a lot of water gone down the drain. So, so you uh, don't want to be doing that boondocking. No, you don't want to be doing that boondocking. So that should solve all your problems. I can't think of anything else to tell you. And I've seen the same problems come up over and over again on reviews and on chat sites. People, People screaming that they hate systems, their... <laughs> and they hate them because they don't work. The reason well, why they don't work is because you're not getting enough gas flow and you don't have well enough regulated water flow. So take care of those two things and your tankless hot water sh heater should work peachy. Great. Okay. Yep. Well, hey, thank you all for stopping in. I appreciate your indulging me on my very first video ever that I've ever made in my whole life. And I've never posted anything on YouTube. So this is, uh, you know, like my debut. So... Hopefully you're all going to love it and you're going to fix all your problems. Have a nice day. Talk to you later. Bye.